I'm a little 13 year old that's gonna be a famous YouTuber. I'm gonna be a famous YouTuber someday. I don't need college. Right, Dad? <laughs> Do you wanna know what the truth is? Hmm. Go for it. You don't care. <laughs> the truth is, here's what this video is gonna cost me. I'm not now this I'm not saying this to brag. I'm saying this so that you guys have a realistic picture. Most of you aren't YouTubers, you're just interested in sparks. We'll get to that in a second. This spark over here I bought for $4,500. I have about $1,000 into it between a tune, an impeller, and a cover. This Trix I just bought for $7,000. So seven plus 55 is, what, 12.5? I would just say that mathematics is generally my strongest point. Now I've got gas in the skis. Prices are shooting up higher and faster than they have in more than a decade. My wife charging me for her time behind the camera <laughs> and whoever's gonna drive the jet ski. So this, this, this video will cost me about twelve, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000 plus time. Time is more valuable than money. That's why time is money. To film it and edit it. It's going to get a thousand views and it's going to make me about give or take $15 in its first month. Do you want to be a YouTuber when you grow up? Sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> I'm going to be a famous YouTuber someday. I'm going to be a famous YouTuber someday. You're not paying me. Well, I'll pay you later. <laughs> welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to Fergus Falls, Minnesota, and welcome to another video. So here is my newly purchased Sea-Doo Spark Trix. It is a 2019. Ever since I picked up my 60 horsepower, uh, I kind of in the back of my head had, you know, I'm gonna build this thing into a Trix. But after going through like what it would take to do the handlebars and the VTS and all that, I was like, ah, maybe I'll just watch for another trick and buy one. So this one popped up. It was close enough, so I went to pick it up. Uh, today, I think we're just gonna race them, see what you know a 60 horsepower tuned spark with a new impeller on it can do versus a stock Trix because this is the top of the pecking order in the Sea Dew Spark lineup. So this is the budget friendly version. Um, in my first video, if you haven't seen it yet, you can go back and watch that. I kind of, you know, touted this as, you know, why pay for the tricks when you can get this cheap? Um, maybe towards the end of this video, we'll go through the two of them and see if we can justify which one is right for you. I think the answer is probably still gonna be the same. I think the one in your price point is the one that's right for you. But let's see where this goes. Let's get them on the water and get them racing. One eternity later. Okay, after some technical difficulties, had to change the plugs on that one right there flashback hopefully the town of fergus falls will have a cr8 eb ngk plug for me dad bought end of flashback we are ready to race hey there racing lady hey there ready to get oh some trash talking not gonna lie, that 60 horsepower spark is a raped ape. My only chance with this is VTS. We do have a smooth night here, so I'm hoping with the right amount of trim, I found that about three quarters of the way up is the place to be if you're going for top speed, and the launch is my only chance. So here we go. VTS to the bottom, get her in sport. So aim straight and right in front of the pontoon. Okay. Get lined up. I am lined up. All right, well, you gotta get even with me. I'm gonna go on, you count one, two, three, we'll go on three, okay? okay. One, two, three. Going up. She's killing me. 46. It's pretty cool, I guess. She crashed him. One more, but you gotta do it in touring. Round two, wifey is going on touring. I'm going in sport. I'm gonna jump the gun a little bit too on the start. Oh, you do not talk little. What? What? You tell me something I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, whatever. All right, get over here. All right, uh, one, two, three again. And you're gonna call it, okay? Okay. What? Come on, you chicken!
and winning. We can't let the lady have all the fun. All right, sport. You're in sport? sport. I'll even give you a half second head start. No, I don't even have second. Oh, you're good. Count it out. ain't bad on the start. I've got a little weight on her though too. That might help her cause. <laughs> oh, no, not happy. No. I'm sorry. Whoa, <laughs> look out. <laughs> Whoa, that was this close. <laughs> You did a good job racing. No. You're like a sore loser that you had to get me wet. I'm sorry. You're fast off the start, girl. No? Nothing that. here? Nothing? I love you, but I don't always like you. Oh, come on. <laughs> I love you unconditionally. No, you don't. Whatever, I don't. <laughs> You don't need those stupid pegs on the back of your tricks. Those things suck. FYI, this just destroys your gas mileage. This thing goes through gas so much faster than that one. Woo! The next day. All right, cool lady. You can only have one of these machines. Which one you picking? I pick this one. That's it, huh? The faster, the better. That's what she said. Come All on. right. What do you got? What do you got for me? Now that you got both jet skis, which one are you loving the most? Ooh, which one do I love the most? Yep. Oh, I'm a polygamist when it comes to jet skis. I uh, I like both girls, you know. What if I'm a monogamistic man, like a married man, and I had to marry one? Is that yeah, if you had to marry a jet ski, which jet ski would you marry? I'm going for looks. Oh, the hottie, <laughs> but not the quickie, huh? <laughs> no. There's so many ways to break this down. You know, if money was an issue, money was an object, and when I say if money was an object, if it's limited, I'm going spark, and I'm trying to keep it within a budget to make it as fun for me as possible. But I like options. <laughs> so I say, why choose? Why not have both? <laughs> right? That's my motto. I mean, if the family likes pepperoni pizza and daddy likes Supreme, why not get both pizzas and everybody have a feast together? Right? That's right. If I can only have one machine and I'm decking it out, tricks with the tune and the impeller. All right. So if you're monogamous, go with the tricks. If you're a player, go with both. Right. Play the game. Play that <laughs> game, guys. All right. I think we're good. Listen. How to mount a CD spark. Don't have pegs back here. Lift up, grab chair, knees on, shazam. Life of a YouTuber, must find daycare anytime you're filming a video. You sure have a lot of disapproval for me tonight. You like to come in hot a lot of times towards me. This one's got a brake on it. Just take a break. Like, now that I'm old, when I fall off, my knee almost dislocates and my nostrils <laughs> get like shot up. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
I'm not saying money isn't an object for me, but if you can have two, have two. I'm not trying to be overly passionate on these things, on which one you should get. I'm just trying to be informative, uh, provide a little bit of value for you. That way, if you are in the market, uh, you can hopefully make an informed decision by watching my videos. Oh, I